care plan essentials. You must complete two care plans within 15 minutes, so practice is essential. A little explanation about UK care plans. OSCE requires individualized care plans. There are several different types of care plans used in the UK, but for the OSCE, it is an individual care plan consisting of two nursing problems which must be written by the nurse. Number two, meeting the NMC OSCE standards. The purpose of this planning module is to give you a better understanding of what an individualized care plan is and how to write one that meets the NMC OSCE standard. Number three, care plans to achieve optimum health and safety for patients. Care plans are used every day in UK hospitals as a means of giving specific interventions which will achieve optimum health and safety for that individual. Number four, it keeps the family and the patient updated about problems, aims and interventions. They give the staff and patient along with their family an idea of the problems, aims and interventions to follow and a sense of achievement when aims are met. Number five, it acts as a legal record of nursing care. They act as a legal record of nursing care expected to be achieved through the steps laid out for them to follow. Note, each care plan will be kept by the hospital long after the patient has been discharged and may even be used in a court of law if there was a legal dispute about care that was expected. If the care plan fails to fulfill all the needs in a safe and coherent way, the nurse who wrote it can be held accountable for any subsequent problems met by the patient, not documented in the care plan. Highlights of a care plan sheet. Number one, there will be a part at the top of the document to complete the patient's personal identification details. Number two, it may have a sticker on it with their details already on it, or it can be handwritten. Number three, to make your care plan a legal and effective document, the patient's name and demographic information must be completed. Number four, this is a legal requirement and is an NMC standard for documentation found at record keeping guidance in the code. Number five, they must be legible, signed and dated as well as stored securely, although they are always accessible to the patient and their family with the patient's consent.